Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to another episode in the Selenium tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can bypass Cloudflare turnstile captcha, which is this one right here. And I'll show you how we can do that using CapSolver, which is a service that solves captcha automatically for you. And yeah, as you'll see, they support many captchas like HCAPTCHA, ReCAPTCHA, GTest, image to text and also the one we want, Cloudflare Turnstile. Also, as you'll see, based on their, on their pricing, they are probably the cheapest in the market compared to other popular providers. And yeah, with that said, let's get it started. So first of all, sign up to CapSolver using the link down in the description. And after you sign up, click here to add credits. And make sure you click here to I have bonus code and type my bonus code called Michael. And as you will see, you will get an extra 5% bonus at checkout using my code and also my link. So again, for example, if you click the $100 package, you get an extra $5 credit. I recommend you use CapSolver not only because they sponsor this video, but also because I use them personally for my projects and also for my clients projects. And they work perfectly and also they are very cheap. So why not? So yeah, after you sign up, you get your API key and add some credits. Let's go ahead and check out the code and see how we can solve it automatically. So first of all, make sure you clone the GitHub repo down from down in the description. And let's see what, what's going on in the code. So first of all, as you'll see, we are using the CapSolver library and we are defining our API key. Now, after you copy paste your API key, what we are doing is we are opening this file right here called inject.js. And then, actually, we just read the file for now. But I'll show you in a bit what we do with that JavaScript file. Then we are providing CapSolver with some parameters like the type we want to solve, which for our use case, it will be anti turnstile task proxless. This is the only type you can provide for Cloudflare Turnstile. Here we'll provide the website key and I'll show you in a bit how we can get it. And also the website URL. Now for our example, we will be using the actual CapSolver dashboard page, the login page right here. We will try to automate this page. Now by providing those parameters, CapSolver returns a token. Now let's go back right here. Let's click inspect. Now, as you'll see, if we find the iframe for the Cloudflare captcha and we scroll down, as you will see, it has an input. Now, if you have seen my previous videos on HCAPTCHA and ReCAPTCHA, those as well have an input here, which when you provide the token as the input value property, token we get from CapSolver, then you are basically solving the CAPTCHA and that's it. But with Cloudflare, there is an extra step we have to take. Now, first of all, let me show you how we can get the side key. And as you'll see, it's usually, it's almost always on the URL right here. And it follows this format. So 0x and then something else after it. So it's very easy to find. So make sure to check for our 0x on the URL and the rest of it is also the key. So we copy that and just put it right here. Now for the website URL, all you have to do is just put the URL that you are getting the CAPTCHA at. And that's basically it. Now, as I told you, what we are basically doing with the token that CapSolver will return is we are putting it in the input value property. And then usually you would click sign in and it would work. But Cloudflare made an update and that's no longer working. But I found a method which will bypass that. And the method I found, go back, is by using Cloudflare callback. So as you'll see right here, if you scroll down, what I'm doing is when I load the page, 
when I visit the page, the login page, I inject some JavaScript. And the JavaScript I inject is an interval, which runs every one millisecond. I want it to run very fast. And what it does is the moment the turnstile becomes available on the window as a function, I get the turnstile.render function. And then I override the render method to return the side key. So actually, there is two methods to find the side key. One is like I told you, but also the JavaScript function I'm running right here. If you run the Python code, even without providing the parameters here, you'll get on your console the parameters like website key, website URL, and some others. So you can use either method to fetch the site key and website URL. Now, besides that, what I do next is I call the original render function with the provided arguments, but I also save that callback that the render function has. So basically, when you solve the, the CAPTCHA manually, let's say now it's solving, it's solving it automatically because I'm not using Selenium. But when you use Selenium, it will tell you to click a checkbox right here. So when you click it, then the Cloudflare runs a callback to notify the website that the CAPTCHA is solved. Now what we are doing is we are creating a new variable on the window here. And we are saving that callback. So when we provide the solve token, which I told you we provide in the input right here as the value property, then we call the callback. So let's go back in the code. As you'll see right here, this is a bit a uh, simple script to enter the email and password. Again, you can customize this based on your script, but I'm waiting for the turnstile. And then as you'll see right here, I enter the, the token as the property value for that input I told you about. And then right after I run that callback. And inside that callback, you have to provide as well the token. So I provide the token in the input value property, and I also provide it in the callback. And by doing that, I'm solving basically the captcha. And then I just click the submit button and that's it. Now, if your website just has the captcha, but the captcha is basically the submit button and it doesn't have a submit, submit button, using the callback right here should submit the form after it enters the, the token. So the callback acts as a submit button as well in case a submit button is not available. So again, when you copy my script, make sure to change those. So you handle your own form however you like. Of course, change the URL here and the website key and website URL. And of course, also put your API key and that's it. So let's go ahead and do that and see how the script works. So I'll copy my API key paste it here, put an email and a password there, and let's run our code. As you'll see, we get the token, we visit the website, enter the data, and there you go. As you'll see, it's very fast and it works. Now, I'm not sure, let's test it out. I think it will work even if I don't use the input so let's comment this out and see if it works just with the callback because i think that part is unnecessary so let's see and yeah as you see just using just by using the callback it works just fine so yeah that's how you solve the cloudflare turnstar capture using cap solver i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos.